Good Monday evening, Southeast Texas. Much cooler weather on the way to the area. Could see some of the coolest weather so far this season by the end of the week. But until then, it looks fairly mild as temperatures will likely be close to 80 or the lower 80s for afternoon highs coming up tomorrow and also into, say, Wednesday. Tonight, skies will cloud up and we'll see temperatures drop to around 60 in the lakes to the lower 60s in the triangle may see a sprinkle with some patchy fog then tomorrow about a 20 percent coverage of light rain high temperatures i think are going to be warmer than this into the middle to upper 70s maybe close to 80 all dependent upon whether or not we see a few peaks of sun on the gulf of mexico slightly choppy seas tomorrow around one to three feet in your coastal marine forecast We'll see an easterly wind at 10 to 15 knots, water temperature 67. Our forecast tonight, mostly cloudy with patchy fog, a cool night as temperatures will drop to around 59 to 60 in the lakes to the lower 60s in the triangle. Then tomorrow, mostly cloudy, very mild with a 20% coverage of showers. Again, some spots could hit close to 80 if we get any sun with highs mid to upper 70s for the vast majority of us. Wednesday, rain chances under a yellow bar day go up to a 60% coverage, 81. Then for Halloween, looks like the, some of the coolest weather we've seen in some 26 years, not since 1993. We'll start the evening off on a dry note at 7 p.m. Should be into the lower 50s, falling into the 40s by, say, 8, 9 o'clock in the evening with a brisk northerly wind. It's the way it's looking right now. May not get out of the 50s on Thursday. This 50% is during the day. I think it'll be out of here by the evening. And that opens the door to low temperatures close to 40 here in the Triangle to the mid-30s up in the Lakes area. Highs only into the 60s coming up this weekend with ample sunshine and lows in the 40s as below normal temperatures will be here for not two or three days, but more like five. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.